much, Mike Pfeiffer. Um, uh, I'm actually doing this on Sunday here, and I've already poured the lake, but uh, I started the videoing yesterday. So I'm going to show you how to put in, or how I put in the um, the uh, sludge lake for the um, the uh, flood loader over there. So let's go through that and let you take a look at what happened. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna install a lake or holding pond in here where the coaling uh, the flood loader is gonna be. And in our in our case here, I'm using one of these. It's a pre-made lake by uh, Magic Water. We're not uh, we're not going to carry these anymore as they're they we don't sell them very often. They're too hard to ship. But you could you could do the same thing, just with plaster cloth or foam or whatever. And I'll kind of explain that as I go here a little bit. Uh, so let's get started. Okay, with the uh, with the Magic Water Lake, it comes with its own little template, which I've cut out of paper here, and I've traced it onto the layout where I'm gonna want the lake placed. Um, then I pulled off some of this work I've already done, but I pulled off the template and then I, since I'm working with homosote, I came along with a with a sharp utility knife and cut all the way around the uh, perimeter with the utility knife. And I've got the piece loose, now let's pull it out. Okay, here's our hole. And if you let me step back here for just a second, this is our preformed lake um, by Magic Water. Like I said, you could have taken and put something underneath in here, another piece of wood up underneath here, or whatever. I mean, it could be just about anything um, uh, tape, box tape, anything just to support some plaster cloth if you did plaster cloth in here as your as your lake bed. You don't need something fancy like this preformed foam. Uh, but anyway, my preformed foam, my preformed plastic, rather, fits in here uh, perfectly. I had to trim a little bit on a couple of edges, but that's basically what it's going to look like. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some small uh, Pico track pins and I'm going to pin it down because it kind of wants to stick up in a few places, and we'll go from there. And by the way, my helper's here today. Hello. How you doing, Gavin? Good. He's been weathering a car, a uh, little contract job he had for someone, and he's been helping me try to decide where to put the lake here. So um, anyway, let's get back to the lake. Um, I'm going to pin it down, and let's see what it looks like. Okay, we got pins in all the way around the edge, the track pins, just holding it in place. And it's uh, pretty sturdy, and it's pretty flat to the board. Uh, I'm going to try and put a little bit of plaster cloth around the edge, and that's probably all we'll get done today, maybe. I don't know. Okay, here's here's Mr. G. He's uh, been helping me out, out here, make some color choices. Um, I went with, uh, I just we just picked some colors at random out of my cheap acrylic stuff. Um, if you notice here, I did put some uh, plaster cloth around the edges of the lake. I don't know if it was necessary, but at least that way I can get the scenery to go up to it without getting any more plaster on there. Anyway, you can see that I use a butter dish lid as a palette to kind of mix the colors. Uh, black in the very bottom, and then I worked my way out with some color, some lighter colors. Uh, once I got that done, I used some Arizona Rock Asphalt Powder on the left there in the very bottom part of it to give it some texture on the bottom and then uh, I used the high desert uh, stuff uh, which kinda has a grain to it uh, around the edge then I wound up also using Woodland Scenics uh, Talus coarse brown for the big rocks and over here I used the medium brown uh, medium sized brown uh, for around the edge and I mixed it in with the um, Arizona rock material and you can see it there and then just kind of laid it in. Then I basically just sprayed it down uh, with some wet water and now I have put some glue in there and we're gonna let that dry up and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when it's dry. Okay everybody um, here's what the uh, lake looks like once I got it in place try and get in here. It's not dry yet. I still got to wait 24 hours. 
and then put Mod Podge on it if I decide to ripple the water at all. Uh, I have the pump house, the pump, the water feed, and the pump going up to the sprayers at the top of the coaling tower that keep the dust down. Also provide fire protection, I would assume. I don't know. I'm not an expert on these things, but that's the way I perceive it. But anyway, I'm pretty happy with the way the lake turned out. I, I uh, look forward to it getting dry tomorrow and then starting to do a little bit of scenery around here. So um, pretty much that's it for right now. Um, I hope this is a decent little update for you guys.